Masonry techniques are something that I think ought to be focused on in trying to discover diffusion between cultures in the ancient past. However, the secret nature of these techniques has likely caused the knowledge of the old world masonry to be lost, especially with the invention of cannons that made the building of stone castles and edifices obsolete as warfare modernized. That being said, no two Greek temples and no two Egyptian or American pyramids are exactly alike as far as I can tell. There are always variations. So why should any stone structure that may prove diffusion be exactly alike? These sites exist in Sardegna, Italy, Arizona, America, and Chanquilo, Peru. Can you tell which images belong to each region? Is it coincidence or diffusion? One of many challenges is observed in a quote by William J. McConnell, captain of the Payette Vigilantes, the men who make the history of a new country are seldom history writers. How about the so-called Anasazi, so-called by Navajo, Hisatsunum, so-called by Hopi, or ancestral Puebloans, so-called by Spanish, which are names not chosen by the people, but by what others called them? Are the techniques found at the Four Corners in America a product of diffusion? I suspect their art is not art, but an actual way of reckoning significant events of the past much like the American Indians created winter counts, the details on the animal skin, once they learned how Europeans recorded history. Sometimes the best way to get something done is to do it yourself, so I wrote the best book in the world to show you the diffusion of the ancient universal system through language, religion, and astronomy. Click the image. Become a member to access the rest of this article.